incandescent, then the compact fluorescent, and now there is the light emitting diode, or LED. And Scott, it's not really new technology, but the price of these LED bulbs has come down so dramatically that we see a lot more of them, and there are a lot of uses for the technology. A lot of uses, a lot of applications. You can see these two light bulbs are LED light bulbs. Mm -hmm. And what I've done is I've taken the lens off of this one here, and you can see that the LED is right there. There's three of them in this part of it. You put the lens on it, and it covers it up and makes it really, really nice. And you can see, you know, a light emitting diode is small and actually very bright. And, you know, that's very helpful with certain technologies, well, like a flashlight, for example. Yep, I brought an LED flashlight we've all seen. Makes mm -hmm. the battery last a real long time, and it's super bright. And uh, you can use them in Christmas lights. We've got the old incandescent bulbs right here. So we've all seen these bulbs, standard bulb. It draws seven watts per bulb. So we're talking 350 watts for a string of 50 compared to a string of 50 to LED is how many watts? This draws three watts for the whole string, Kevin. And that's another headline, which is LED technology is super efficient. And the quality of the light is excellent. However, we need to be able to use that technology. Right. We have these retrofits that go into our existing fixtures. It's an LED light bulb that screws into a regular socket. Nice. And then we also have these reflective style. They have different bases on them. This reflects the light forward. Okay. And there are some options for recessed lights as well. This is a light bulb and a trim all in one that replaces your own existing trim. It screws right in. So if you've got an incandescent or halogen recess, that's an LED option for you right there. That's right. We've installed those before. I haven't seen something like this before, though. This can also go inside of a recessed light. Oh, I see. Okay. But it can also be swapped out to be hardwired, mm -hmm. where they give you this changing plug here. Oh, so and that can be replaced on a fixture. So if you've got a ceiling mounted light, you can replace it now with this LED. That's right. It's really nice, really low profile. Perfect. Now LEDs also give us a lot of control, including control over color. That's right. This is an LED strip that has the diodes in there and it has tape on the back. And the tape can be stuck to the inside of a cabinet. But we can also hmm. change the color. Look at that. I have no idea why I want red lights, but it's cool just the same. Well, we use that light that can be changed inside of this alarm clock. Let me show you this. This is a starts off in a very light pink, oh, yeah. orange, and it takes a full 30 minutes for the intensity to reach a sunrise. Nice way to wake up. So I want to show you something brand new, Kevin. These light bulbs, I can change and control with my tablet. Let me show you. We have a brightness setting. Hmm. One of the other settings we can change is the color of the lamp itself, mm -hmm. and it's all on this wireless network which ties into your home network. So wirelessly from the light bulb to this device, well, wait, wait a it second. ties in. We, we've had control over dimming lights before, usually at the switch or the power source. You're saying the control is in the light bulb? The technology is right in the base of the light bulb. So if I were to have one of these smart lights next to the bed and I were to unscrew it, bring it down to the kitchen and screw it in there, the control goes with me with the light bulb. And I can change the intensity and color of that light bulb wherever it is. That's yeah. correct. And how many different light bulbs can you control? We can put 50 on this device. Wow. Now that is new. Really nice. There are a lot of fixtures that the LED is actually built in. You can see this under cabinet one here. There's another version where the LEDs are right there. And then I, we have some outdoor fixtures, but I want to show you this. This fixture can be used to illuminate your backyard, whether you have a basketball net or a barbecue grill. Cover your eyes, Kevin. Okay. Whoa, look so at all that light. That fixture oh. only uses the same amount Thank of power you. as two 60 watt light bulbs. Really? That's it. And that's a lot of light. You know, it's a great story for LEDs. Super efficient and a lot of really cool applications. Thanks, Scott. You're welcome, Kevin.